I guess I've run out of adjectives to talk about Edie. About she's uh, she's amazing. She's fought through a lot. She saw a vision for this place, and she's it's starting to become a reality. Um, she always was open to original songwriters, which is a tough sell on the best of days, even in Texas, which is kind of disappointing. But she always looked for the folks like me, to be quite honest. I don't, nobody plays me on the radio. I don't have albums in the charts. Nobody knows who the hell Judd Block is, but Evie opened up her doors and said, come out here and play. And we got nights like tonight where you get great songwriters like Dan Weber and, and Lynn McCracken, and we got people in the audience like Troy James and Tina Marzola and D.B. Duncan. This is incredible. It's an incredible listening room. It's something we all need to support and we need to tell people about. Yep. 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 Um, yep. Yep. I'm so honored to be a part of this. And the other thing is, anything you guys put into this bucket tonight, it's all going to Evie. We're not taking a single penny of this. No, no. It didn't happen. This place has got to stay open. And you've worked your ass off to keep it open for the... All the things you've been through. I honestly didn't know how you did it. I thought maybe Evie just bought, just bought it outright. I don't know how you did it. But anything that goes into this bucket tonight is going to go directly to Evie. We're not going to take any of it. And that seems only fair because she continues to provide a safe space for guys like me to come out and sing songs like this. This is about Jay Johnson. Jay Johnson had a huge influence on us North Texas music scene songwriters. And Jay decided to check out a little bit early on us. But the one thing Jay always had, he had this innate ability to know when somebody needed to hear something. And he knew the most amazing way to say it. So the last time I saw Jay was at Bill's Records, Bill's birthday party, and we've lost Bill since then. And he looked at me on Alex Lee's, he said, you two come with me. And he pulled us out to the parking lot. And we proceeded to share the world's hottest bottle of scotch because it was the middle of the Texas summer and he had left the windows up in his truck. I never divulge what it was that Jay said to me that day, and I never will. But it keeps me going on those nights when I'm playing to the back wall of the bar. Then I watched a documentary called The Bridge, and it's people who jumped off the Golden State Bridge, and the vast majority do not, do not make it out. But the few who did, the one thing every single one of them said was the minute they took that step off the ledge, they regretted it. And somewhere inside, I think that maybe between pulling that trigger and the hammer coming down, maybe Jay regretted that decision. This one's called um, The Space In Between. When they did tumble's hand Soundtrack by a final breath To a backdrop of love's last shade All flavored by memory and death And the irony of full the poet Was the words would go on sing To describe the regret of the action That exists in the space in between Dyed mask drain gray, a constant cruelty to explore, exhausted with the struggle of feeling one day more. And the irony for the poet was the words would go unseen. To describe the regret of the action that exists in the space in between. So I'm 
were fully aware that Jay would laugh his ass off at my inability to play Lee guitar line. So we let these wisdom scatter while preparing for the fall at venues in songs and conversation. Making suicide notes over a song. Yeah, he makes suicide notes over a song. And the irony for the poor, it was the worst to go and sing. To describe the regret of the action that exists in the space in between. That exists in the space in between. God bless you, Jay. Thank you, Evie. Thank you, Dan and Lynn. We love you guys. We'll talk to you guys later. Y'all have a good night.